I'm Dan Smith, and I'm the founder of Daniel Smith Incorporated. I founded my business in 1976. I was an artist by day and worked as a commercial printer by night. And I wanted to not only start my own business, but I also wanted to learn about the materials that I'd used as an artist. And I found a three-roll mill. I knew that that was the machine used for grinding pigments used by paint makers and ink makers and other color manufacturers. And I found this mill for $500. It was on a loading dock at a printing ink company in Seattle that was getting ready to, to be scrapped. And so I drug it home and um, set it up in my basement and thought, oh my God, what am I going to do now? So I went to the library and got every book I could get on ink manufacturing, paint manufacturing, and I read them and I talked to everybody I knew who knew anything. And I started formulating things and started experimenting with things and trying things and testing things and learning and learning and learning. The backbone of our company, though we do many things, the backbone of our company is manufacturing artist colors. That's where we started and that's the heart and soul of our company. We have competitors who have tubes of paint that have their name on them. That's called relabeling in most of those cases. They go to a contract manufacturer who makes stuff and they say, we want you to put stuff in a tube and put our label on it. And they say, sure, glad to do it. Um, we've had some of them approach us over the years and want us to do it. We love what we do. We love, we love learning and experiencing these things. And we love sharing them with artists because we know that there's more to color than color. We love the, the, the nature of things. We love we loved to, in a sense, as my wife would say, get dirty. We like, we like to find out what these things are and how they work. Our goal is to make beautiful objects that we think our customers will enjoy. What we've learned is that this is not only about color, but it's about transparency and it's about sedimentation and it's about... Um, uh, sometimes it's not about color strength. Sometimes it's about weakness. I mean, um, as a result, the artist has, it's, it's almost like uh, having a piano maybe with three octaves versus having a piano with maybe uh, 10 octaves. I mean, it's, it just gives the artist so many more options and, and, and um, it, it increases their palette, obviously, but it increases their palette of options. And, um, that's, that's the reason we're committed to this.